I'm Christine and welcome to today's short practice all about pigeon pose and some variations, some fun, twisty, pretzel-like variations in pigeon pose. Don't worry, this isn't an advanced practice, it's just a fun practice. So why don't we start on our hands and our knees? And we'll do a few cat cows just to warm up the spine. Inhale, lift your head, your tailbone, and exhale round. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, round the shoulders and puff up your back. Inhale, lift your tailbone. Exhale, tuck your tailbone. One more, exaggerate, try to go a little farther. And exhale, exaggerate, try to go a little farther. Uh, and we'll just do a few hip circles here. So you can just kind of sink your hips back, come up the other side, go over the side. So going all the way around, you can let your shoulders roll a bit here. You can let your head dangle a little bit here. It's kind of getting into it, having a little bit of fun, just waking up through the hips a bit, the shoulders. Good. Other way. Oh, the other way around. You really need to not worry what you look like in this. <laughs> and just get into how it feels. Keeping it playful, keeping it fun. Good. All right. We're going to take our right knee up mm, towards the right thumb. And even make sure your foot, you can walk it out a bit so that's really in front of your left hip. Okay. And what I'm going to invite you to do here is tuck your left toes, pick up your left knee, and then see if you can back it up a smidge more. There it is. Good, let's come up onto our fingertips. And you wanna try and keep yourself centered between your two legs, so you're not gonna like sit down on the right hip or anything. You're probably gonna have it dangling a bit in the air. If you need to prop it up with a pillow or a folded blanket or something, don't hesitate to do that now. Roll your shoulders back, inhale, lift up the, the heart. Exhale, elbows out to the sides and bow down. Just like a cat cow, essentially, inhaling up and exhaling down, waving with the spine. And then the next time that you come down, you can come onto your elbows right in front of you there. You can just hang out right there. But you don't have to do any variations with me, right? You can always just stay. If this is where you're at today, then you're here to practice some pigeon pose with me, working with what your body has to present today on the mat. You can untuck the back toes or keep them tucked, whatever you prefer. Also, if you needed to pad up underneath the back knee, go ahead and put a folded blanket under there if you need to. As we hang out here for just another moment, you might feel that your hips opening up enough that you wanna open your elbows out to the sides and then bow in a little bit deeper, putting your head on folded hands. Nice long exhales, opening up that right hip. If you did fold forward a little bit more, come back onto your elbows. Let's take one of those first fun little variations. So you just kind of keep adding on until you can't add on anymore. <laughs> no worries. It's all about being playful. Okay. I want you to take your left elbow, okay, and see if you can put it in front of your right knee. And then you can go ahead and settle down onto your right shoulder, your left shoulder. And I'll even put now my head on the ground. Heads looking towards the right. That left hand can just come around and give you a little pat in the back. Going, yeah, you did it. You're here. Ha ha. You gonna stay with that? Another option to really start pretzeling this up is you can take your right arm, bring it out to the side. Good. Turn the palm up to face the ceiling. Bend the elbow so that now the back of the hand is coming to your back, and you may be able to reach around and clasp the fingers of your left hand. 
That's a maybe. Depends on your shoulder mobility. Another possibility would be that you release that clasp and bend your left knee and see if you can grab your foot or your ankle with your right hand. Getting a little thigh stretch at the same time. Woo! There it is. Breathe into whatever you got going on. Enjoy being a little bit of a yogi pretzel for a moment. And then slowly release the foot if you've got it. Bring your right hand to the ground so that you can gently press yourself back up. And we'll stay here for another variation. Another variation. So if you did have something propping up your right hip, I want you to go ahead and remove that so you can sit down on your right hip. Rare moment, you're like, you know what? Go ahead and sit down. All right. And I want you to take that right foot and see if you can bring it up to the same level as your knee. Hmm. Okay. Good. From here, let's really extend out through that left leg, and we're coming onto the inner edge of the left foot. Right, so the knee is going to be up off the ground a little bit. Now, can you get your right shoulder to settle in beside your knee and bring your hands to prayer and start rotating your arms, your chest up towards the sky? Another little pretzel variation. Now you can feel like you're ready to be on the cover of your yoga magazine. Give us a smile. Beautiful. Slowly release hands to the ground. Bring that right foot back in a little bit. Go ahead and come back onto your hands and knees. Woo. Cat cow, shake it all out. Beautiful. Let's do the other side. It might be easier, might be harder, who knows? Have fun with it. Let's just start by bringing that left knee up towards the left thumb, and then bringing the foot so that it's in front of the right hip. Tuck your right toes, try to back up your right knee a bit more, just getting a bit more space between the two legs. Come onto your fingertips. Keep yourself centered between the two legs. Prop up underneath your left hip if you need to for a little bit more comfort. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, round in. Inhale, wave up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. In. And exhale. This time you can come onto your elbows. Maybe untuck those back toes. We didn't do a lot of warm up before coming into our hip opening. So it's okay to need to take some time here and maybe recognize that these variations are not appropriate at this level of warmth in the body. So this might be a fun thing to add on after you've done some sun salutations or something, some standing postures and the body's really warmed up and limber and then you can come back and try this again. You can open your elbows out to the sides and rest your head on folded hands if that feels like an open invitation from the body. And then slowly coming back up again. This time you'll take your right elbow in front of your left knee and then settle down onto that right shoulder. Rest the head down, the hand back, pat yourself there. Go, good job. You're on your mat today. I don't care how much you've done. You could have done a bunch of practices before this and you're back here now trying these variations. Or this is all you're doing today. The point is, you're on your mat today. Congratulations. Good, you can always take that left hand out to the side, turn the palm up, bend the elbow, and maybe clasp your hands back there. Hmm. Maybe. Or, it's like an and or, <laughs> 
you could bend your right knee and with that left hand, reach around and clasp the foot or the ankle and get an extra bonus thigh stretch. And slowly release wherever you're at and come on up. Unraveling your pretzel. Good, and for our next variation, sitting down on your left hip, taking your left foot up around the height of your left knee, coming out to the inner edge of your right foot, so extending the leg, engaging the leg as much as possible, resting that left shoulder down to the inside of the knee, bringing the hands to prayer, and then rotating the chest up to the sky, bringing a nice big smile across your face. Good. And then slowly releasing, coming back up onto hands and knees and taking a moment in child's pose. Bring the hands in underneath the shoulders and gently pressing yourself up to sitting. I want to thank you so much for joining me for this mini practice today, having a little bit of fun with variations in pigeon pose. Perhaps now you have some ideas on how to spice things up a little bit in your regular practice. So thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that fun stuff over here on YouTube. But also, please, I invite you to check out christine-ganette.com and sign up for the Inner Circle. I send out a weekly email where I'm always packing it full of really interesting and insightful and wonderful things to help you tune into yourself so that you can turn on your life. I also send out more videos just like this one. So I hope to see you there at the Inner Circle. Namaste.